Hello and welcome, I'm Rolius Photographer and in today's video I'm starting a new series on Italian military portraits. Following the success of soldiery British Army portraits, I was looking for a brand new project. Looking to Europe, I decided to document the Italian Army in a brand new opus. Entitled Soldati della Repubblica, I spent the summer of 2018 in Italy, capturing portraits of a series of uniquely historical and diverse regiments of the Esercito Italiano. In planning the project, I really wanted to capture the Corazzieri. The Corazziers Regiment, or Regimento Corazzieri, are the official guard of the President of Italy. An elite unit, their motto is Virtue in Peculius Femor, which means courage becomes stronger in danger. Photographing the regiment has been one of my aims for quite some time. Luckily, as the Esercito Italiano, or the Italian Army, were the subjects of my new project, I was able to make a few discreet inquiries through the Army to arrange a sitting with the Corazzieri. Not part of the Esercito Italiano, the Corazzieri are in fact a part of the Carabinieri. The Carabinieri are the national gendarme of Italy, who primarily carry out domestic policing duties. It is one of Italy's main law enforcement agencies. Organisation done, we arranged the sittings for September 2018 in Rome. Land of the Giants sprung to mind, as each member of the regiment was towering and formidable. The unit's history dates back to the 14th century, when the Red Count Amadeus VII, Count of Savoy, used a lifeguard of archers. The Corazzieri are a really specialised force. They're also trained in martial arts techniques, self-defence and even skydiving. It was indeed an honour to be invited to capture one of the most elite units in the world. In travelling across Italy, it was important to make sure my equipment was protected, so I employed the Pelli 1510. As you can see behind me, I get the celebrities I photograph to sign the case as a memento of the city. If I photograph a military regiment, I put their badge on the case. It really came in handy when photographing the Corazzieri. Being a 5 foot 7 inch photographer, not very tall, I was able to stand upon the case to capture their portraits. As you can imagine, they had a towering presence over myself. In working with the regiment, I could imagine being a poor soldier in the Napoleonic Wars, an infantryman, and these towering cavalrymen coming towards me. They were terrifying. Over six foot tall, in armour, mounted on chargers, they are an imposing presence. In travelling across Italy, again I decided to use luster light collapsible backdrops. Very easy to carry and set up in any environment. For the first series of portraits, we use natural light. Now I still like to use flash, even in a natural light environment. What I find is working with the sun, you have shadows that appear on the face. So if you use a simple shoot through umbrella and a portable light, you find you can just reduce those shadows and create clear and soft portraits. You can also see us using a white flag or reflector just to bounce that light back on the subject. In capturing these portraits, I decided to use my medium format Phase 1 645DF. However, you can use a digital SLR, such as I use a Canon 5D Mark IV, and you can achieve terrific results with these cameras. Just to reiterate, my box was very important. The box meaning the Pelly case. I had to stand on it throughout the entire sittings. And if you're a short photographer like myself, you'll see carrying a hard case has its benefits. In conclusion, it was such a privilege to capture a regiment which dates back to the 15th century. 
In appreciation for capturing the portraits, I was also presented with the regimental crest. The crest is one of my favourites, and it also boasts the regimental motto, Courage grows stronger in danger. If you're interested in my Italian military portraiture, you can take a look at my book, Soldati della Repubblica, which is available on Amazon and details all the sittings throughout my travels in Italy in 2018. Thank you for watching, and if you're interested in this series, then please subscribe. I'll be publishing a new video every few days, and I'll be concentrating on my Italian series over the next few weeks.